Today's project is a first grade lesson. It's called Replicating Pattern. It's one of the standards um, that says describe and replicate repeated patterns in nature, in the environment, and in works of art. So before the lesson, you'll discuss a few pieces of artwork with them um, that have pattern and they even have some examples of how the pattern camouflages different things and it'll help show how the project's gonna work. The project is going to be making camouflage animals. So what you're gonna start with is white paper. Um, I recommend, this is cardstock. I always, cards, the kids like to use cardstock. It's a little bit more durable. You tend to have less tearing and um, it lasts a little bit better again going home in their backpacks. You can give them a full eight and a half by 11 or nine by 12 sheet, or you can cut them in half. I recommend cutting it in half for this project because they're gonna be filling in the paper with a pattern and they get a little bit um, tired and messy if the paper's too big. So this is a good size. You just need the paper to be big enough um, that your animals are gonna fit on. So that's the second thing you're gonna need is some animal stencils. I have some here. Um, they're gonna trace these and then cut them out. So this lizard might be a little bit too complicated for first grade um, if you think it's gonna be too hard for them to cut. So they are gonna be cutting these out. So just a thought, the fish is probably okay and the snake, um, the lizard might be fine, but just give it some thought. Um, another thing that you can do is if your school has a die cutting machine, you could pre-cut out some animals. And the animals are gonna be cut out of a scrap of paper. So that's the next thing you need is some simple scrap of paper. And by simple, I mean it's, you want patterns that you think they will be able to copy. Um, polka dots, stripes, um, these are all good examples of things that they would be able to replicate. Um, I would stay away from anything with complicated patterns, uh, anything like this. It's too complicated, they're not gonna be able to replicate that well. So stay away from things like this and stick to basic things, geometric, dots, that kind of a thing. Um, those, are, those are what's gonna be great. You can get these great scrap of paper um, booklets that are mostly easy things that they could do. So just make sure to, to stick with those basic um, scrap of papers. You're gonna need scissors, glue, and then crayons or colored pencils. You're gonna want crayons or colored pencils that you have a lot of colors. You don't wanna give them just the eight colors because they are gonna be copying those um, patterns and you wanna be able to, um, you want them to be able to match the colors the best they can. So they're gonna start out with their paper and then the next thing that they're going to do is they're going to trace their animal onto the back of a scrap of paper, trace it, and cut it out. I've actually already done this. Here's my fish. By tracing onto the back of the paper, they don't have those trace lines showing up, um, so they look a little bit nicer. Like I said, you could pre-cut with a die cutter or something animals out of the scrap of paper if you're tr if you're short on time. Um, but if not, it's a great it's a great skill for them to work on tracing and cutting with scissors. So I wouldn't take it out unless you really feel like you're not going to have enough time. So I've got my fish already, so I, um, with the rainbow stripes. So next I'm gonna glue my fish onto my paper. And I always recommending using glue sticks, especially first grade, and the liquid glue they, they get a little bit messy with. And the glue stick is just fine. Oh, that's okay. Got a little bit bent, that's okay. Put that fish down. And the idea is they now want to camouflage their fish. Uh, and one of the pictures in the lesson shows a camouflage tiger. Um, so you're now wanting to have them copy this pattern so that it looks camouflaged. So they are just going to try to match colors the best they can and let them know it doesn't have to be perfect. Some of them will stress about this more than others and they want to carry the pattern um, 
throughout the rest of the paper. And by doing this, they will um, have a camouflaged animal. And so they're gonna, this is a good skill because they're gonna be continuing the pattern off onto the entire page. So they will just, and, and you might wanna give them, sometimes it's nice, they like to have a scrap of paper so they can color and decide if that's a good match for the color. They always, that is always helpful to some of the kids, especially the ones that are gonna worry that it's not gonna match quite as well. But just remind them, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just trying to help hide your animal a little bit. So I'm just going to continue the pattern, oh, looks like, until the paper is full. So that's why this is gonna work better with a smaller sheet of paper. If you gave them a full eight and a half by 11 and they're having to carry the pattern, they're gonna get really tired of coloring. So this is why this is a great size paper. Okay, so now I have my completed, my fish is all camouflaged by repeating that pattern and um, they'll start to think it looks really cool once once they get about halfway they'll start to see how it's really looking camouflaged and they'll think that it's pretty fun so then the last thing that they can do if they want um, is they can add some details so they can add a little eye we can make our fish happy they can add an, an extra fin um, any details that they might might think that their their fish or their animal needs. So um, they could do that with a black crayon or a black marker, whatever, whatever, whatever will work best. So that is the completed project for first grade replicating pattern. And um, hopefully they enjoy this one and they get a successful project. Of course, it's always a great idea after to let them share. They love to share their finished projects with the class and they can talk about how they completed the pattern, the colors that they used, the shapes that they used. Um, and so that way they can verbalize the things that they've learned in this lesson.